Well, we are standing at the overlook of what is routinely voted as one of the most beautiful places in the United States. Well, hey there, guys. We are in Harper's Ferry, West Virginia. Yeah, we've got a full day of adventures planned. We do. We've got some hiking. We've got some sightseeing. We've got some eating ahead of us today. We better get going. Let's go. Let's go. Our first adventure is to hike the Maryland Heights Trail. Yeah, it's a six and a half mile loop with just over 1,500 feet of climbing. So it's going to be a good challenge for us today, but it also should have some amazing views. So we're kind of looking forward to both. Behind us here is the point it's where the Shenandoah and the Potomac Rivers converge. I like how you pointed to the point. Right. go anywhere to get a shot, wouldn't you? Just about. <laughs> <laughs> we are in the middle of quite a long climb here. Yeah, the climb that we're in the middle of is very gradual. It's long, but it's not incredibly steep, right? right. There's no big steps that you have to climb up. Uh, but it is it is a bit of a grind, and we hear there's going to be about two miles of it before we really get much of a break. All right, Paula, what do you think? It's pretty strenuous. I said it was moderate, but I don't believe it. <laughs> oh, wow, Paula, look at that. Wow, that is so pretty. That's cool. It standing at the overlook of what is routinely voted as one of the most beautiful places in the United States. And I can see why. I agree with them. It Absolutely. Is gorgeous. It is just beautiful. You've got the historic town, you've got the rivers, you've got the bridges. It is just breathtaking. It is. I love it. It's one of my favorite places we've been. It certainly lives up to the billing. I, I'm not sure how getting to the summit could get you a better view than this. <laughs> We're going to do that after we take a short break for a snack. So we talked to a couple of different locals and they both agreed that the summit has some great mountain views with lush greenery up there, but you're not gonna get any views of the town or the rivers. And since we just got back from Shenandoah and the Great Smoky Mountains where we saw lots of mountaintops with green uh, forest, we decided we're just gonna cut it short at the overlook and head back. Yeah, we got a bunch of things we wanna to do today and we've just got one day here, so we're gonna head on and get to those other things. Well, that 
was a really fun hike, wasn't it? It was. We got five miles in, 1150 feet of climbing, and some spectacular views. Yep, and now we're gonna go get something to eat. Let's go. <laughs> Well, you can't visit West Virginia without having a pepperoni roll. Yeah, so we've walked about a half mile from Lower Town up to Bolivar Bread Bakery, and we're gonna get a pepperoni roll and maybe a sweet. Oh, there's gotta be a sweet. <laughs> We ordered a couple of pepperoni rolls, a vanilla orange cake slice, and a chocolate dipped coconut macaroon. Yeah. Oh, really good. I like that. That's like pretzel bread. Mm -hmm. This pepperoni roll is delicious. It's got a ton of pepperoni in it. It's got some big chunks of mozzarella cheese in it. It's a pretzel roll. It is amazing. That's my favorite. Well, now that we're full of food and full of renewed energy, we're gonna take some time to walk around and sightsee at the Harpers Ferry National Historical Park. Yeah, we're starting out at the BNO train depot. This historic railway station is still in operation today with an Amtrak stop here seven days a week as it travels from Washington, D.C. to Chicago. Harper's Ferry National Historical Park has 19th century buildings, a Civil War museum, and John Brown's Fort, which is a key site in an 1859 abolitionist raid. these historical buildings. This area is only a few blocks, but there's something to see around every corner. In addition to all the history here, this area is very plain with plenty of shops and restaurants to explore. Well, we've really been looking forward to this stop. Yeah, we're at True Treats and they feature historic candies from the 1700s, 1800s, and early 1900s. Let's get some. Let's go. Looks good. Is this our kind of place? Yeah, I think so. We're the only research-based historic candy company in the country, which means that all of our candy and food is based off that time era. And we go in chronological order. It starts here in first in history, then we go to the 15 and 17. Over here is the 1800s, and both walls are the 1900s. Paul, did you find something good? I found a lot of stuff that looks good. There's about 850 things that are good <laughs> here. We're gonna have a hard time choosing. I know. So we end up buying some potato candy, which is made of potatoes, peanut butter, and powdered sugar, and they are tasty. We also got a couple of homemade turtles with chocolate, caramel, sugar, and pecans. We even picked up a gift for Jacob and Zephora of candies, including a World War II mess kit. So for the last few days, we've stayed at Gambrel State Park in Maryland. 
and we drove to a nearby National Park Service area, Catoctin Mountain Park, and we did a few hikes there earlier in the week. Yeah, we hiked to Chimney Rock, to Wolf Rock, and to Cunningham Falls. Yeah, we got over, what, six miles, seven miles I in? I think so. And about uh, 12 or 1,300 feet of climbing. We didn't record the entire hikes, but we did take some shots of some of the scenic overlooks, and we want to share those with you guys now. Well, would you just look at that view? It is so green and beautiful. And you know how much we love to play around on the rocks. I could spend hours here. about these deep crevices are they you got to watch your step around here pretty much every step or it might be the last step you take but it is so much fun So those hikes at Catoctin Mountain Park were pretty awesome. They were. I and, love them. and today's time at Harper's Ferry was even more awesome. It was. It was a great day. I really enjoyed the overlook. It was just so scenic and lived up to all the photos and videos that we'd ever seen of right, it. Right, and just exploring the old town. It was, it was just a great day. It was a great day. But unfortunately, the day is coming to an end, and we've got to be moving on tomorrow. That's it for our mission. What's your mission? my head on straight every time i think so well now that we've terrible <laughs> now that we what i don't know <laughs> i'll leave the shop into her and today at harper's very berry harper's <laughs> berry <laughs> harper's <laughs> berry was very good <laughs> That's delicious. I don't care if you're in the 1600s, 1700s, 1900s, 2000s, or 3000, long time from now, that's good. Well, hey guys, it's Jimmy here. Our mission in every episode of this vlog is to share one of our fun-filled adventures with you guys. But our greater mission in life is to share our hope and happiness with you. One of the ways we do this is by giving away digital copies of my book, which we believe will help you in your own spiritual journey. You can get it at no cost by dropping by thereisgraceforyou.com and then clicking on the download button to read it on your favorite device. There's no list to join, no price to pay. It's just our way of trying to be a blessing to you. There are 40 short daily readings in the book that will take you about a minute each to read. So if you're interested in some positive messages to encourage you in your faith, I hope you'll check it out.